To describe the world around us, scientists use mathematical concepts such as straight lines and curves. Mathematics teaches us to tackle complex phenomena by starting with the simplest parts. For example, a ski jump has a complex trajectory which includes the in-run, the takeoff, the flight, and the landing. How far the skier can jump depends on many factors, including the shape of the in-run, the position of her body, and even the weather on that day. Let's start with the simplest part. The top portion of the in-run is straight, and physics tells us that the acceleration of the skier depends on the slope. But what is slope? The mathematical concept of slope is defined in a two-dimensional coordinate system for a line. Pick any two points on the line. Measure the horizontal and vertical displacement of the second point from the first one. The slope is defined as the ratio of the vertical displacement over the horizontal. As the ski jumper goes down the in-run, the vertical displacement is negative and the horizontal displacement is positive. Therefore, the slope is negative. The slope of a line does not depend on the two points you pick. This can be demonstrated by using similar right triangles. Along a horizontal line, there is no vertical displacement. Therefore, the slope of a horizontal line is zero. When is the slope of a line positive? What about this line? Is the slope negative? positive, or zero. Can you compute the slope of this line 